ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਯਰ ਹੋਸਟ ਸਮਰ ਕਡ ਡਿਆਲ ਵਨ ਮੀਲ ਅ ਡੇ ਇੰਟਰਮੀਡੀਟ ਫਾਸਟਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਫਾਸਟਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਜਨਰਲ ਈਟਿੰਗ ਲੈਸ ਆਲ ਥੋਸ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਵੈਲ ਪੀਪਲ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ देम ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਥਿੰਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥੀਸ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਮੇਨਲੀ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਥਿਸ ਪਰਸਪੈਕਟਿਵ ਆਫ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਇਟ ਫॉर ਲੂਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਵੇਟ ਫॉर ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਲੀਨ ਡਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਆਲ ਥੋਸ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਬਟ ਦਾ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਦਾ ਮੋਸਟ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟ ਐਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਆਫ ਓ ਮੈਡ ਵਨ ਮੀਲ ਅ ਡੇ ਵਿਚ ਪੀਪਲ ਜਸਟ ਓਵਰਲੁਕ is that if you are practicing omad one meal a day you are ensuring that you will live a long life you are ensuring that you are slowing down the aging process and all the age related illnesses you know that come along with it for example you know osteo osteoporosis and uh, memory loss all those kind of things so they slow down you know and i have a dude here his name is mishio kaku and he's this dude is a theoretical physicist a very famous theoretical physicist uh just just listen to what he has to say on this subject if i take any organism on the planet earth from yeast cells to spiders insects rabbits dogs and even monkeys now and i reduce their caloric intake by 30% they live 30% longer in fact the only organism which has not yet been deliberately tested by scientists are homo sapiens all the other species obey this basic rule you starve them to death they live longer this is independent of telomerase this is a function of the wear and tear that we have on the cells and this is the only known way of actually deliberately extending the life span of any organisms almost at will so eating less increases the life span of almost every animal but uh, human beings have not been tested so that video was an old video the fact is that human beings have been tested on this uh, on uh, there have been studies for humans on this and the the proof is conclusive eating less 15% 20% 30% less it will result in an increase in your lifespan it will slow down the aging process inside you now the question that people might ask or people should ask is that why why does this happen why does eating less and eating less frequently contribute to a longer life the answer is very simple when you eat less and less frequently your body starts using energy much more efficiently it goes in the it goes in the efficient mode now you know that your motorcycle and your car they have a, they have a combustion engine inside right the more you use them the more you accelerate the faster that engine runs right and the more will be the wear and tear of that engine that engine will will have a short life similarly when we talk about metabolism what is metabolism definition kya hai it's essentially think of it that there is a combustion engine inside of you and it, it that engine has to work in order to keep you alive will you please elaborate now when you go on an omad or you know eating less so eating less and less frequently like for example uh, in the paleolithic era like our hunter gatherer ancestors used to what happens is that the internal engine that we all have it it starts operating at a more and more chill mode you know rather than going like this it goes like this 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 a more chill mode so obviously there will be less wear and tear of the body of the engine which will result in an automatic increase in your lifespan so when you think of omad or intermittent fasting or those kind of thing man forget about the weight loss dieting and all those things man do it for living a long and healthy life you know another thing that might be of interest to you is that compound interest you know there's a factor of t so if you have investments the longer you live the more compound interest you earn and the more wealthy you become and you know those kind of things i hope you get it i hope you get the gist of what i am saying long life oh mad do it that's all for the day this is kak dial signing out <laughs>